Baby Audio is a respected plugin developer from the United States. They are known for plugins like the Smooth Operator, which is a kind of a new approach to multi-band compression, Crystalline, their own reverb plugin, and also Spaced Out, a plugin that I own myself, uh, which I use for uh, delay and reverbs. And one of the cool things about Spaced Out is that it can uh, randomize settings, which can lead to awesome results. And they have teamed up with Andrew Wong, who is a music producer from Toronto. He's uh, He's got a very large following on YouTube, and together they have created Transit. Transit is a plugin in a new class of its own. The basic idea for Transit is to create transitions between uh, parts of a track. Transitions are a phenomenon in electronic music productions to transition from one part of a track to another. Um, usually this is uh, from a break into a drop, but nobody's stopping you from creating uh, transitions all over your track, like uh, maybe one bar here, two bars there, etc. And um, let me first go to my DAW to show what a transition is, or actually play it to you. Here's a track of mine that I'll play from somewhere in the break, and I use sound effects and effect processors to build up to uh, the drop again. This is it. Music gets portrayed in many different ways, and there is nothing, nothing you should be afraid of. And you can imagine that this uh, creates a lot of excitement and tension on a dance floor. And that is precisely what a transition is for. And as you can see, I've uh, used quite a lot of uh, automation here on a delay plugin and a phaser flanger and EQ. Um, and I also did a bit of filtering on uh, the auto filter that is on this track. What I also did was uh, drop in a couple noise sweeps, things like this. Right? So all that bundled together is what creates that transition. Now this all can be quite a lot of work. This, I think this all took me about 10 minutes to come up with and create and uh, make sure that it worked. And that actually can be done faster now. Uh, let's have a listen to this transition that I have here. Uh, this is pretty much the same part in the track, but I uh, used only one automation lane here. Have a listen. Music gets portrayed in many different ways, and there is nothing, nothing you should be afraid of. Now that seems kind of weird that I only used one uh, parameter to automate, but that is the main parameter in transit. Actually, this is the transition control knob that I'm automating here. And this actually controls the parameters of all these different effect processors that are loaded up in this uh, instance of transit. And although this is basically uh, built as a transition plugin. There's so much more to it than that. And we'll explore that in this course, starting in the next video.